My name is Daniel Rowe, uh, 24 years old, and the coach for the Pittsburgh Knights my team. The only one pulled in is no one. He doesn't get anyone but Rowe. Locks out Tomahawk in the cage. Spork is fending off three members of Integral by himself. Rowe gets the kill on Tomahawk. Rob Diggity leaps away. There's a great disarm from Spork. Well, I used to be named all sorts of things. I changed my name in Smite a lot, and eventually I just got sick of it. When Australian servers came out, Roe was my surname and something that all of my high school friends called me, so I just went with that. I asked the high res if they could uh, get me the name, and they did, so I've just stuck with that since. I'm from Queensland, Australia, um, so I've been playing on Australian Smite servers since they came out. But I started playing Smite in, in February of 2012, so I played on NA servers from Australia since then. What got me into Smite was that I was just kind of bored of the games that I was playing at the time. Um, like I said, this was back in 2012. I was playing World of Warcraft for six, seven years by that point, and uh, MOBAs were really taking off with, with Dota. And I played a little bit of Warcraft 3 and the original Dota, um, and I thought Smite was a good bridge between those two, it being a third person uh, a video game, whereas like League of Legends was a top down view, which I, I didn't really like. Smite ticked that box, they ticked the MOBA box. Um, so I tried it out. Um, I didn't actually like Smite at first. Uh, I didn't play it for about a week after I first played it and then I was bored again, so I went back to it and ever since then I, I never stopped. Um, what makes me a good coach? Uh, on my teams, since I started playing professionally in early 2015, I've always been the leader. Um, even in ranked before that, on NA ranked, I was trying to make short calls and stuff like that when curse voice was kind of a thing. So I've always felt most comfortable in leading a team. And so that, in order to do that, I needed a lot of in-game knowledge and so I always spent a lot more time reviewing our VODs and things like that um, on Australian teams and... Okay, so back in early 2016 when we went to the first World Championship, uh, since we were an Australian team and uh, not very experienced, we got knocked out on the first day so we had a lot of time to socialise. Um, and being Australian, we like to drink and hang around at the hotel bar and stuff like that. So we were able to meet a lot of the mostly European players that stay up and drink, it was like X energy and stuff like that. Um, um, from there it was is easy, but yeah, just at the start it started with socializing at the bars. There was a, a point at which I didn't think it was sustainable to be an Australian player anymore. Um, so I was just searching for my options. It was either move away from Smite altogether or, or move internationally. And uh, there wasn't really an opportunity to move internationally as a player, nor did I really want to. But the coaching opportunity was there, so I spoke to a couple teams and uh, Yaman from Energy uh, took me in and we went from there. After the last World Championship, obviously uh, a lot of players in Europe were, were doubting whether or not they wanted to move and things like that. There was a lot of question marks going on. I think I made it pretty, pretty clear early on that I was willing to move uh, with the right offer, of course, with the right team. Uh, and Adapting and Emilzy spoke between themselves and they decided they wanted to stick together. And then they, from there they invited me. Uh, they had a couple options of, of players and Deathwalker and Vote were our uh, top two from, for their positions and Zeros was our top from, from mid. Uh, and just, just like that, you know, we got all of what we wanted. Um, like I said, people are right to have these expectations of us as a super team. We have these veteran players and we've done very well in practice so far. Um, so we're confident to go into these first two matches. After that, uh, we'll just take it as the week goes by, but our goal is to be first seed going into MSI and then first seed to go in, into Worlds and then to win Worlds, definitely.